Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper. Takedown Media, our coverage of the sport continues today. A very, very positive uh, piece of news that we'll be sharing with you through this interview. Going into the Nike hot seat today, the head coach of the Cal Baptist Lancers, he is Lenny Zaleski. Lenny, how are you? Very good, thank you. You're a Nike school, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, well, so coincidentally, welcome to the Nike hot seat. Okay, well... Thank you. So the news came out on the 13th that Cal Baptist would elevate itself to Division I status uh, from Division II. How did, how did this all happen? Well, you know, the administration's been talking about it for a couple of years, actually. So uh, the timing of it, they never let anybody know. But there was talk on campus. And actually, this was an NAI school four years ago. I know. Well, it was some time ago when they first started out, and then they moved to D2, so they sat, they did the whole transitional thing, sat out, went to D2, and they would have went to D1 if that was possible at the time is what I'm hearing, but you have to go D2, then move up to D1, so next year's our fifth year in D2, and then at that point after that, you have to sit a mandatory five years in D2, and so after that, which will be next year, we're going to make the move to D1, but... Um, you know, they're putting a lot of money into everything here, actually, I should say. We went up from 4,000 students. We just crossed the 4,000 student mark when I joined the staff here. And that was, this is my sixth year here. So it's just roughly about five and a half years ago. They cr- and, and last year they cr- crossed the 9,000 mark. So they just built a big sports arena. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be completed in April. And anyway, the school's growing. Uh, the school is very fond of athletics as being part of the curriculum here. I guess you can say that. Um, but uh, I think over the last couple of years, I, I, I had the feeling, and most of the coaches had the feeling, very strong feeling, they're going to go D1 as soon as they can. Okay, this is all very positive news. The uh, the Western Athletic Conference is where the school will be heading, but wrestling itself will need to find a new uh, uh, athletic partnership, uh, an affiliation, if you will, Division One affiliation. Do we have a, a feeling for what that will be? Yeah, uh, I'd like to get back in the Pac-12, uh, which is where we was when we were at UC Davis, but I'm hearing they're very, uh, they're not letting anybody in. So if that's the case, I wouldn't mind going over to, you know, Fresno State went to the Big 12, and that would that would certainly be a tough conference, but it would be a nice place to, uh, a nice conference to belong to. We'll see. We'll this see. Is, we'll see indeed. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So let's talk about, does, does this change your, your uh, recruiting? Does it change, does it broaden your scope recruiting-wise? Oh, well, oh well, yeah, of course. You know, probably most of the recruits, we get a recruit on campus, here it's a really nice campus. We almost we're probably like ninety percent with those kids, um, with the curriculum, the you know the class size. Because it's a private school, you know we get we don't have those. We can get a twenty to one ratio and just get a lot more attention from the teachers. But anyway, we've lost quite a few. The recruits that we've lost that we wanted really wanted to go D one. Now we have several D one guys on our team that decided they wanted to go. You know. <laughs> and they're doing very well, but um, I, I think now that uh, we're going to be going D1, I, I think we'll open up some eyes. I mean, not only in California, we get a lot of out-of-state uh, interest um, from a lot of different states, and I think primarily because you know our our winters here are really you know 40 degrees to 70 degrees usually. 30, oh, that's that's 30, tough 30. for you. I'm, I'm sorry you're having to go through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll get through it, Scott. I'm, sure, I'm sure you will. We just enjoyed uh, the ice storm of uh, 2017 here in the Midwest, but uh, again, we we'll get missed through it. it. We were in Nebraska sa- uh, Saturday or Saturday wrestling, and we we uh, rebooked our flights to fly out in the morning, Sunday morning. We and our flight was canceled coming in. The other one. That we would have been always canceled. But you guys got nailed pretty good, huh? Got it pretty good. I think uh, they, a little further south of us, they got it got it even more. You mentioned your trip to to uh, t- to, to Nebraska. Let's talk about CBU's uh, performance at the UNK Duels. Uh, Cal Baptist is on a bit of a roll. You guys wrestled four duels in one day, this time taking yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
to the Nebraska Kearney duels on Saturday. It was the 12th ranked Lancers posting three quality victories Saturday against teams receiving votes in the NCAA Division II top 25 or even better. Can you talk about the performance of your athletes? Yeah, we actually uh, won two of the four, but um, we, you know, we have three guys doing tremendously well. Like we had a 49 pound freshman beat a two time All American. Uh, he, and he's just, he's just been wrestling really tough. He went four and oh, both weekends. And that's against it. We wrestled air, the week before we wrestled four, for, uh, good teams, air force being one, he beat, beat the air force kid as well. Um, but then as, his name is Daxon Gordon and then Jake waste is kind of in a, he beat the kid who took six to, at scuffle, um, beat the kid who took six at Reno major or tech, the kid that took six at Reno this last weekend. He's been just, just going through the guys. And then a guy named Nick Figner at 184, he, he plays seventh in Vegas and he's been doing very well too. And then, you know, these, we actually are, we would have a lot better doing, we're, we're, we're having this thing where we're up, uh, with, by a few points and we're getting pinned and losing the match by three. <laughs> so anyway, we're, we're kind of, uh, readjusting to some stuff and we got some we got, we got, I think we have six, seven guys that are very, are capable of being an all American this year. And we'll just see, you know, D2, they've got some tough kids, uh, tougher, I think than people realize. Can you talk to me about Nolan Kistler? Sure. Tell me, tell me a little bit about him. The name sure sounds familiar. Yeah, well, his dad uh, and uncles wrestled at Iowa. You know, Harlan was his <laughs> dad. Is his dad. His brother's here on the team as well, too, Harlan Jr. Uh, mm -hmm. Lindley and Marty, of course, are his uncles, and uh, they live close by. But Nolan was an All-American last year. He also won the highest uh, Elite 90 award, which is the highest GPA of any participating uh, wrestler in the NCAA tournament. And he had three, nine, six, I think. And so anyway, he's, he was one match away from placing in Vegas this year. He's had a couple, he's had an injury and he's, I don't think he's wrestling his best right now, but he's capable of being very, you know, very tough and hopefully another all American this year. I can see, uh, the, the, what I call the Gable effect, um, mm -hmm. in, in how you guys are competing right now. So apparently you paid attention when Gable was, was coaching because I'm seeing so many pins from your guys. And, uh, man, I tell you what, talk about dominating in a match. I go just against Adam state. For example, you guys were down 11 zero after two matches. And then, uh, 39 to 11 was the final score. Uh, yeah. as Cunningham, Johnson and Kincaid all, all picked up pins, uh, right. Figner and waste one by tack, uh, each. And it just tells me, that uh, there's there's a whole lot of trickle down in uh, in that coaching that you're doing there with mm -hmm. those uh, young lancers. I, I like what we're I like what we're seeing. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, yeah those those guys you all mentioned are very tough. You know, and yeah, you know, we'll see how you know how they how they we got about a month left. You know, you know kind of the crucial part, but they're they've been wrestling well. So talk to us about what's next then, Coach. I mean, I've got to believe they're, you're there to coach, and they're gonna, right. the athletic department's going to do its job as, uh, right. as, as they do. But uh, does, the, uh, does, does uh, Dr. Ellis or uh, does Michael Parker, do they need your assistance and things to move you into uh, to the next step? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that Michael Parker has asked for is just uh, help to get in a good, at a conference. And... You know, we'll we'll try the Pac-12 first, and then, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see where else. Maybe the Pac-12, Pac uh, Big 12 after that. But I think we'll it would see. be short-sighted of the Pac not to want you and 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 go back even to Fresno State. I would have yeah. thought they would have welcomed uh, Fresno State as well. But uh, uh, wherever it is, we get to see you wrestle. It's it's going to get interesting pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, it'll be. I mean, moving forward, I mean, I think it's. You know, we sit so much better geographically for, a, and maybe the whole school personally for a D1 uh, program. It's so it's so expensive to come out here for a D2 program and wrestle us. The closest program there's only two D2 programs on the whole West Coast. Wow. <laughs> if you, if you take if you don't count, you know, I mean, Colorado's in the consider the West, but that's a that's a good drive from here. Um, so anyway, we'll have. That'll be, we'll be the 51 program out here. 
and other programs from the East Coast, Midwest can, you know, catch us in Bakersfield, us in Cal Poly, us in Fresno, you know, or whatever. They can wrestle probably three teams on a trip, which, you know, makes it worth them coming out as well. Yeah, so, I, I, I got to believe that. And if, if you can add Poly and, yeah. and Fresno, you, and, and a nice uh, swing through the state, it'd be enjoyable for the kids, too. Uh, that after all, that's why we do what we do. Uh, yeah. Great opportunities, Coach. Uh, academically, uh, Cal Cal Baptist uh, and the Lancers, you guys really lean on on academics. You're a four year liberal arts university. You you tell us that, and I think the numbers uh, will endorse the idea as well that your population, student population, continues to rise. Mm-hmm. Uh, and why 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 is this? I mean, you guys were founded in 1950. As yeah. Cal Baptist College now, of course, right. a, a university. But why do you see Cal Baptist rising uh, academically and athletically? Well, I think you got to give a lot of credit to the presidents and the administration here. But the president has virtually uh, added all the impacted majors, like nursing, engineering, or two. Uh, you know, I could probably you know you put in aviation or. Um, architecture i mean to just to just as a few i think he i think we've added like i don't know how many degrees and then he's also built you know program the buildings and whatever and he's kind of and they've done a really good job of hiring the people who can grow this college so they open up up like let's say uh architecture and then they go out and they get someone who's really experienced in the field and good fit for the university and it seems to take off Take uh, off indeed. I mean, now I think you're sitting at approximately nine nine thousand students, right? And mm-hmm. over nine thousand, actually. Yeah, tip of the cap to your president. Uh, providing opportunity seems to be the uh, the slogan there on campus, and you guys are employing it. And we saw it in Joe Fagiano. Yeah. Uh, in his title run last year, at the uh, right. tender age of twenty six. <laughs> matter of fact, he was named the Cal Baptist Male Athlete of the Year. Yeah. Oh, he did, had a great year. He how had did that happen? Twenty six years old. Well, you know, he um, went to Indiana, and he kind of went to Indiana and Hofstra, and, the, and I think he went back to Indiana to be honest with. You. And he got frustrated with wrestling there his senior year, and so he just graduated in four years. But he kind of had always that void of feeling like he could, you know, could compete with the best, you know. Right. So he was on campus. He was. He was actually came out here and lived in Temecula. And he was uh, on campus, and anyway, uh, the assistant coach at the time said, yeah, boy, too bad you have a year left of eligibility. Now, D2, you don't have a running clock, and D1, you do. So uh, he said, well, actually, I think I do. <laughs> and so he <we laughs> checked into it, and he wanted to get his MBA, or he wanted to get a master's in engineering. Engineering would have taken him like two more, you know, another year. But uh, he kind of has that mindset. But anyway, it was just a good. So got him in. He was, you know, just a good fit. We didn't. We needed a heavyweight, of course. But he was. He's a very talented, uh, you know, heavyweight. Moves very well. Very technical. And it was just a good fit. And he ended up getting his MBA here for over the summer, and he'd be making big bucks here soon. I hope. But he, still, <laughs> but he, bought, <laughs> he bought a big house down in uh, Temecula. Or a house, and he fixed it. He did it like about five acres, and I think he's you know fixed it up, and you know I, don't know if, I think he's probably going to resell it someday. But it's it's a nice place from what I hear. Oh, well, good, 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 uh, good job by him. Good job by you. Opportunities yeah. through wrestling at Cal Baptist, and yeah. it's just getting better. Lenny Zaleski has been our guest today in the Nike Hot Seat. They're going to Division One, where they land in what conference? We'll see. Wherever it is, I'm sure Lenny will call it home and do real well in his goals of being number one in the division, in the conference, and, of course, across the country. Lenny, it's always good talking with you. Our best to your beautiful wife. All right, you too. I'm sorry? I say our best to your beautiful wife. Okay, thank you. Thank Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) If I recall, she was in school with us at Iowa, right? I think when you were the Herky, I think she was the cheerleader. You guys might have did a few stunts together. Who knows? Uh, if, if, if I was involved, somebody would have gotten hurt. That's the bottom line. <laughs> Lenny Zaleski has been our guest, head coach of the Lancers of Cal Baptist. Thanks, Lenny. Thank you, Scott. All right. Bye-bye.